I have some sad news today for us fool's cappers. My uh, dear friend and mentor, Norm Stahl, who originally taught me the fool's cap method, passed away last week. He'd been ailing for quite a while. One of the qualities of Norm, he was always like a guy that would do something and never just talk about it, just do it. So in his honor for today, let's plunge her into one more point on the fool's cap method, number eight. So we're one away from the end. And number eight point is setting. Let's think about for a second, think about Game of Thrones. If we're George R.R. R. Martin, and we're starting out to do Game of Thrones. We have to have in our mind the wall, the wildlings on the other side of the wall, Winterfell, King's Landing, the Army of the Dead, dragons, all of those things kind of comprise the setting, not just geographic. But also we need to think about in time, what is a setting where uh, this story could happen and be believable. For instance, I, my, I've said before on this series that I think the, the theme of Game of Thrones is everybody wants to rule the world. It's about contending families. And so if, you, if we were to set that in the time of the Roman Empire, it wouldn't work because Rome was such a dominant force that there was no way for the Lannisters and the Targaryens to be contending for the various thrones. So we need to know the setting when that sort of a world was possible. So this is our, that's a quick one for our setting. I just want to go back to Norm and say a couple of things. Norm was on the East Coast in New York and I'm in California, but I talked to him about a month ago and uh, he was uh, quite sanguine about, you know, he knew he was dying. And uh, so I asked him, I said, Norm, if you get to the other dimension and there's any way to communicate back, will you send me a message? And he said, you know, I just had a dream a few nights ago and I got a kind of a code word in that dream. And he gave me that code word, which I cannot share with anybody. But he said, if he could communicate back, he would. So if uh, this is under the heading of setting, because we don't know what setting Norm is in right now. But anyway, if he does communicate back, I will let you know. We have one last thing to fill up our foolscap sheet. And then I want to do maybe two or three more to sort of tie all these points together because they all do make sense as a cohesive whole linked to one another. So in memory of Norm Stahl, a good man and a great man, God bless you, Norm, wherever you are. And thanks for teaching us the foolscap method.